What is one activity you should tell your doctor about before having surgery? Tell them if you use cannabis. A recent study found cannabis users responded differently to anesthesia medicine than non-users. Marijuana, we know, has sedative effect. It can also interact with anesthesia. So it's so very important just to be open and honest with your anesthesiologist if you are a user. And it really doesn't matter if you're smoking it, eating it, or using other methods to consume cannabis. Talk to your doctor. Interestingly, anesthesia drugs, they help people fall asleep during surgery. They help you stay relaxed during a conscious, what we call twilight sedation. But some doctors do say that the cannabinoid receptors, they may suppress the activity of other receptors in the brain where those anesthetic drugs are meant to interact. And it's so important to be honest because nowadays that cannabis has been legalized in so many parts of the country, we'll forget, right? Because doctors people say, what medicine do you yeah. take? As a it's supplement sure. or an over-the-counter, which it is, yeah. uh, medication. So and that's not the case. We need to know, and well, we well, don't study, judge. We need to know everything every, that you're on before surgery. Alcohol. Supplements that well, may well, affect like your, your bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. Your vitamin healing. C, vitamin E, fish oil, they all make you bleed. In this study, it actually took three times the amount of one common anesthetic drug, which is called propofol, to sedate people properly if they were regular cannabis users. So that's a big deal. You don't want to wake up during your procedure because it didn't work. No. Good stuff. And again, I just want to let you know how much I care about the two of you. Aww. Thank you so much. We care about you too. Um, should we talk more feelings? Just Pretty I want to stay connected. Yeah. I want to be, I, I do not want there to be any intimacy issues between the three of yeah. us. There is not. Drew, there is not. There is none. Drew really appreciate Aww. you, buddy. I love it. I love the bromance. So sweet. <laughs> do you want to know the secret to divert decision making disasters? Yeah. Don't make important decisions on an empty stomach. Yeah. These guys knew that. <laughs> A new study from the University of Dundee found that hunger can significantly impact your ability to make good decisions, leading to poor choices, making you more likely to settle with a bad decision. And I'm telling you right now, we've all done it, right? And, and sometimes, sometimes the decision is simple as what am I going to eat for dinner? And you settle. You're starving. And yeah. so, so eat first before you decide <laughs> what's for dinner. Okay. Yeah, and well, it's true. Well, you've got to feed that right? brain. If you're going to think and make, make a decision here, you, that brain needs some glucose, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. When and your blood sugar level drops, yeah, it triggers your hypothalamus to release lep. You know, it really regulates tell, your Okay, tell me what happens when I put this strawberry. You make, <laughs> you make very good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And if you need to make an important decision, eat a small healthy snack, give it some time, and then make that decision. It's time to get serious for a moment, okay? Okay. Getting kids to eat vegetables is hard. It's serious. <laughs> so this hard. is serious. But we're lucky! A new study sheds light on a quick tip that just might help. Take a look at this plate of broccoli. Zero reaction, why? Because it looks boring, <laughs> boring. it doesn't look tasty at all. Where, and a where? kid looks at this just like I do, thinking, uh, maybe I, uh, ah. So, look at this plate. Yeah. A little more intriguing, right? Well, if you're a kid, it's the same way. It looks better, it's brighter, all the colors. Well, a new study out of Australia found that if you offer children a range of veggies rather than just one, they eat more. Right? It yeah. makes sense. And because kids also like to choose. They don't like to be told, like, you eat that yes. broccoli as opposed to eating a little cauliflower. Maybe have a broccoli, maybe a little more colorful. Yes. And Maybe those, a little red pepper. And think about it, the, the pre-made mixed veggie packs, very colorful. Yeah, you're into it? All of it? Oh, he's, I'm a kid. You're a kid. We don't have to wait for you to eat that whole plate of veggies to finish this show. <laughs> he's going in. When you think of curry, you might think of Indian food or yeah. spice rich in heart healthy properties. Big fans of curry up here. Sure, yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Did you know you can drink it? Today, my doctor's prescription is a curry leaf sparkler. So this recipe has five ingredients, fresh curry, lime lemon, manuka honey, and sparkling water. The main ingredients found in curry leaves, fiber, calcium, phosphorus, iron, other minerals and vitamins. Have you ever actually smelled a curry? 
No. Leaf, never. I've never Smell seen that. curry. It's pungent Leaf. in a good way. Just pass so that this curry is, down. So these leaves are actually in here. This recipe calls also for a slice of lemon or lime. That can have up to 25% of your recommended daily vitamin C. Manuka honey we know has wonderful health properties, gives it a little sweetness. We have some mint leaves in here. Docs, let's give this a whirl. Okay. My curry strong, leaf sparkler. My straw it is, got clogged. It is unique. It's different. It is different. I like it. it it's like a health elixir. It's taking us all a moment because everyone, you've had curry, right? And, and you're used to it in a certain format. This is, it's I'm different. Thinking. It's its growing on you, admit it. Keep going, give it another swirl. It, it goes, How mix it all in there. Mix it, oh, I, that's what I need to mix it. I need to mix it. True, I mean, Cat got your tongue? Come on, help me out, what's going on here? I feel like it's doing something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, I just got, that's what I'm it's not like, sure what. Hey, get, did you take a curry leaf, put it, I fear my bladder filling up. <laughs> Put a curry leaf in your mouth. I did. Interesting. <laughs> Very. I don't always drink curry leaf sparklers, but when I do, I sure do enjoy them. Cheers, doctors. Cheers. Need help concentrating? Put down your remote and pick up today's doctor's prescription, a focus improving smoothie. What are the secret ingredients to this drink that helps you think? Avocado, dark chocolate, and matcha powder. Why? Avocados higher in tyrosine. It's an amino acid that can help increase dopamine in the brain. Next up, dark chocolate has flavonoids in it. These are wonderful antioxidants. They may help enhance memory. In one 2017 study, Researchers found that regularly eating cacao linked to improvements in working memory and intention. Just make sure you're getting dark chocolate. We used to say at least 70% cacao. I'll tell you, I'm trying to go above 80, 85% because then you're reducing the sugar and you're increasing the flavonoids. Last but not least, matcha powder. Really cool, basically ground up green tea leaves. It has something known as L-theanine in it. That's an amino acid that when combined with caffeine, which we know is found in matcha, improves focus. Little Greek yogurt, and here you what have you it, our concentration focus? smoothie. Cheers. We should have had this at the beginning of the show. <laughs> it's tremendous. It's actually mm. really good. I really like it a lot.